Hello! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my Disney collection video. I put a poll up on Twitter and you guys voted on what you want to see. So we're doing my Disney collection. And first off I have the 60th anniversary Minnie Mouse ears that I got in Disneyland. And now we're just going to move on to my entire collection. And there are a few pieces missing because for some reason they have gone walkabout and I was not happy, but I will get to them when I get to them. So let's go. So we're going to start off with my mug collection and then we're just going to move on to other stuff. So I have this Beauty and the Beast mug that says kind at heart and it's got an illustration of the Beast and Belle from the 1991 animated movie. Another Beauty and the Beast mug, it, same sort of style. I got these at Coles when the remake came out and they were selling merch. And this one says, imagine the magic inside. I then have this Mickey mug and I like it because it's got a very sketchy style and I love it so much. Then we have another Beauty and the Beast mug. I got this from the Disney store in Las Vegas and it's got Bell bell on it and on this side it says beauty is only skin deep and this one's really good because it's a nice big size but it's not too big and I really like this size and I really like the illustration. A Minnie Mouse mug and I got this I believe it's Supernova yeah I think it was at Supernova or in Las Vegas as well but look at it it's so cute I like it and once again it's a nice big size because I like to have like a big cup of tea while I'm doing work or to put my chocolate milk in when I'm also doing work. And now we move on to the Mulan collection and I have three Mulan mugs because Van Girl's got a collect. So the first one says, I'm not tiny, I'm travel size for your convenience and it's got Mushu on it. I got this off one of those websites that were like, look at this mug and buy two to get free shipping. And I don't recommend these websites, but I just, I couldn't resist a Mushu mug because Milan, Mushu, favorite characters. Second one is the infamous scene, which is like, it's like a Mushu and it says, designer on you, designer on you, your family, your cow. I just, I love it. I love it. On, I keep this one on my bookshelf with um, a little figurine stuck inside of it because I love it so much and I don't want to use it. Another one I've got is this one and it says, uh, let's go kick some honey buns. And once again, I use this quite a lot as well. So that's my little Mulan mug collection. But Mulan is one of my favorite movies and I like collecting whatever merch I can of it. We have another Beauty and the Beast mug and this one says every love story is beautiful but, but ours is my favorite and look at that it's so pretty I love it so much and yeah this is when I stopped buying from their website because I just yeah I had a problem. My next uh oh this will be the last mug and the last mug I have is my Aladdin mug that I also got from Disneyland and oh look at it it's got the Sultan and Raj and Aladdin and Jasmine and the genie and Abu and then inside of it it's got like a lamp and this is one of my favorite mugs because it's so hard to find Aladdin merch and when I saw this I was like mine so that's the mug part of my collection and now I think I'm gonna move on to the lanyards that I've got because I've got about three of them and my collection is only growing. So first off we have an Oswald, Oswald lanyard. Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. I got this from Disneyland as well and you can see it's got like the Disney Park logo on it and this one's quite cool because it's got, it's got this which is removable. So I used to have all my keys on here and I just stick it in my bag because I like practical Disney merch. I discovered this website called Zing and they had a lot of Disney merch on there which is what I've been is is what I've been collecting it all on. And so we've got a Mulan lanyard 
and it's got like a little flower, a little flower. The flower that blooms in adversity is the most beautiful of all. And we also have another one which has got Pocahontas, Jasmine and Milan on it. And this one just has like a flower and it was like, a, it's like kind of like a tattoo one they were marketing it as, and I love it so much because flowers and Disney princesses, yes please. To nobody's surprise, I have a Beauty and the Beast lanyard. And not only that, I have a lot of Beauty and the Beast stuff, but this is the stained glass window at the end of the movie. And I love this because it's from one of my favorite Disney movies. I also have a Beauty and the Beast a bell keychain accessory and this one is from the Disney parks as well and it's so pretty I like it so much and the lanyard has a little rose so that's the lanyards and so now I think we'll move on to the figurines and the apparel and then we'll finish with the bat with the books and the bags so now I'm going to show you my figurines, bookmarks and small apparel and I'm very much excited. So first off we have this Beauty and the Beast. Um, it's supposed to be a Christmas ornament but I took it the part off and just I have it on my bookshelf in my room and when you press a button on here it plays the music but I don't want to get flagged so. It's beautiful, it's got the stained glass window in the background. And on the back it says, Tale as old as time, song as old as rhyme, Beauty and the Beast. And it's got the Beast and Belle dancing in that infamous scene and I love it so much. I have a Keyblade Mickey, which my brother got me for Christmas last year. Or my Christmas or my birthday, I can't remember. But I have him on my bookshelf also in my room because he's so cute and he guards my manga. I love it, he's poseable and I've got other pops in my room so he fits right in. Then we have this keychain which is Belle's dress which my friend got me when she went to Japan. I love it so much. Once again I keep it on my bookshelves in here because I love it and it's awesome and it's so pretty. I also have a snow, old Snow White figurine that I got at a secondhand bookshop and she was like 60 cents and I love her because I love collecting like old figurines. We have a Itsy Bitsy Bell, which sits, which is the figurine that sits in the mug like this and she looks like she's peering out into the world from the mug and it's so cute and I love it so much and yeah, she's so cute. Then we have an old timey Bell figurine because of course she's my favorite character. I love her so much. And look at her. She's got like the old sculpt and the old dress and oh, it's so pretty. She sits actually she sits on my desk near my paper clips and candles and ish and she just she's just she she's so pretty. She's so pretty. And next we have a fig few figurines that I got recently in blind bags. So we've got Cinderella we have got Tinkerbell. And we have got Snow White. And you can see the difference between this Snow White and this Snow White. I like this Snow White better because she has just a lot more detail in her. Whereas this one, it's got some detail, but I just I like this one a little bit better. So. I also have a, hang on, I also have a Belle doll that my father brought me back from the US when he went over there and I was still at uni. And this is from the Disney parks as well. And it's just, it's so gorgeous and I keep it on top of my bookshelf because it just, I like it. And I haven't taken her out of the box because she's so pretty and beautiful. And also from the Disney parks as well, I got this little chip mug which my grandparents bought me. So I, yeah, they bought me this for my birthday and I I don't use it, I like just keep it up on display because he's so cute, I love him so much. And he's even got like the little crack, like it's not actually, like it's got like a little crack 
and it's so adorable and cute and it's so I love it so much so I have those two as well and next we have some bookmarks which are awesome so we've got Tia or Tiana from Princess and the Frog we have Jasmine from Aladdin my bae Esmeralda from The Hunchback of Notre Dame, which is one of my favourite Disney movies. We have Mulan. And my other bay, Megra from Hercules. And I love this. I love these bookmarks so much. They, I got them from an artist at Supernova. I can't remember who it was, but I just, I fell in love with these and I laminated them so I could use them. And then from, um a paper bookmark store that I follow called Kelly's Papery. We have magnetic Mrs. Potts and Chip bookmarks and I have another one which is like Belle in her pink dress but I don't know where it's gone and I'm super sad. But like look at these, they're so cute. We also have some light apparel which I bought as I've grown up. I like more functional merch like Stationary tote bags, wallets, mugs, stuff like that. Well, I do still like like dolls and figurines and stuff like that. I'm much more inclined to buy stuff that I will use, like bags and stuff like that. So I have not a lot of bags and wallets, but just I, I aim for more like that. So we have um, a Minnie Mouse large wallet. which, you know, you need because you have a million cards. Well, I don't, but some people do. But it's very cute. It's got Minnie Mouse on it, which I love because I love Minnie Mouse. Then we have the smaller version because I like to have two versions of a wallet. And this has got Mickey and Minnie on it. And then they're sort of matching, but I love this because it's small, it's cute can store a lot despite its size. So we got those two and I love these. Then also from the Disney parks when I went to Disneyland because I, I went a little bit crazy. I have this Disney Princess pencil case which I want to repurpose. So currently it's got like pencils and pe pencils and textures in it but I want to repurpose it to have like pens and stuff in there so I can take it to take with me. And use it as my pencil case because I just I love it so much and it's so cute and this was one of the last things I bought at Disneyland and there was this one and a mini mouse one but I like this one because all the princesses are on it and I also have two wearable which I got so the first one is a Beauty and the Beast t-shirt which I got at the Las Vegas store and it's got the old design on it and I love it so much and then the other piece, which was one that I picked up at the Disney Parks, no surprise, was a 60th anniversary hoodie. And when we were at Disneyland, it was like all decked down, all the diamonds. And I have a couple of vlogs at Disneyland, so I'll try and link them down below. But it's just gorgeous, and I love it so much, and I love it. So I might wear it because I'm quite cold now. So let's move on to the bags, because... There is a small selection of them and I'm really excited to show you all my Disney bags. So the first one is first one is this Disney Princess Flowery Crossbody Bag. And as you can see, they've got all the Disney princesses on there, including Snow White, Alora, Ariel, Belle, and it's just like a small crossbody bag. This is perfect for like going out to dinner and because it's small, I just have to put a few things in there. It can't fit a big book. It has to fit like a manga or something because it's very small, but for just going out to dinner, it's pretty good. Next two that I have are my like, I love them so much. I had to keep a secret for a long time because I was going to Supernova and I told this, I told one of my friends who was going to be there signing her books that I will be there with bells on but I didn't specifically say what and so I told her I was going to be there with bells on and so I wore this bell backpack 
which came out when the remake came out. And that's one of the good things about remakes, that the, there is merch that comes out for movies that haven't been merch in forever. And your girl can't afford shipping from the US, so I have to wait. But look at it, it's so pretty and functional. And my friend, when she saw it, she was like, wow. And I was like, I told you I was going to be doing bells on. So I was really happy with it. And I use it to tape some t to take my stuff to tape sometimes. Next one is also Beauty and the Beast related. And it's this stained glass window bag and oh my god I love it so much I don't use it because the last stain like the last one I had like this actually broke and I'm very very scared that this will happen to this because this is a beautiful bag but look at it it's got a quote that says who could ever learn to love a beast it's got like the the stained glass window effect for all the characters and the rose in the middle and it's so gorgeous oh my god I love it so much and it's a decent size and it can hold a book and ah, oh, I so love it. This is one of my favourite bags ever. And you think these bags are fabulous. This year I found what I've been looking for for years and it is a Mulan bag. Like, look at it. It's so pretty. They do have a Jasmine one which I want to get and it's so cute. It's got like Mulan in her um, outfit that she wears. The being of the movie, her fan, it's green, it's gorgeous, it can hold a book, a small book, but it can hold a book, and I love it so much, it's so gorgeous. I used this for a while as well, but recently I've got more into boho style bags, and because this, when it's really heavy, it digs into my shoulder and I don't like it but it's so gorgeous and pretty and oh my god yes 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 yes, yes. so those are all of the bags and now we move on to the books and then I've got DVDs because there is any there's no Disney collection without DVDs and books so the first one is Reflection by Elizabeth Lim which is the newest release in the Twisted Tale series and I've been itching to read this but I had to finish Obsidio and Children of Blood and Bone first but it sounds really good, the basic premise. What if Mulan had to travel to the underworld to save Shang from dying? So Shang is taken to the underworld and Mulan has to go through to save. I've read the first page and I can say that I love it so much. Yeah, this cover is beautiful. Like, I know I don't like hardbacks, but this is just so gorgeous. And it's, like, look at it. And today... I believe the part of your world twisted tail cover has been released, but yeah, I love this so I love this so much. I also have in the same series, which you've heard me rave about, a whole new world, which is the Aladdin twisted tail, which is where what if Jafar got the lamp before Aladdin? And oh my god, this was so good! Like if you love like alternate universe fiction. Um, about your favorite movies or characters. This is definitely one for Aladdin fans because it's so good It has the same flair as the movie and Elizabeth Braswell did a great job adapting the story to fit the Story of what if Aladdin had never found the lamp and Jafar had found it first. So there's that. Next we have some notebooks like I mentioned earlier. I have a Ariel uh, composition book and I have a Belle from Beauty and the Beast composition book because we all know I love Beauty and the Beast if it's not clear at this point. Next we have one of my favorite items in my entire collection and it is the, and it is the Beauty and the Beast golden book sketchbook and this was made by a company called Funky Journals where they take old like golden books and old comic books and they make it into a sketchbook so what they do is they take the book and they bind it and like you've got you see here here's part of the book and then there's like blank pages for you to sketch on I haven't used it because I prefer just to keep it as it is but it's one of the ones that I love to flip through because I had golden books like these in my childhood and I have another one which is the 12 dancing princesses not as a sketchbook, but as like just a golden book because it's my favourite one. I also have a Donald Duck one of these, but I don't know where it's gone. And I'm having a feeling like I've packed it away and I couldn't find it. But I do have another one, which is Donald Duck, because Donald Duck is my spirit animal. I love him so much. 
So we have those. Next we have Coco, look at the film. If you see my Coco haul and merch collection, you'll know that I bought this straight after I watched the movie because it's so pretty and it's got extra information and extra scenes that aren't included in the movie. And the book just provides extra dialogue for the characters. Next we have sticker scenes and the uh, Coco Draw Sings Create Sketchbook. Once again, if you've seen my Coco one, you know that I bought these because I love Coco so much and the illustration inside this is gorgeous and this provides great reference for characters on a 2D page instead of a 3D movie. Next, we have two activity books from Beauty and the Beast. Once again, I love Beauty and the Beast. I saw these, I picked these up, mainly for reference mainly for fun. Very much love these. I bought three colouring books because I thought they were all different but it turns out they're just all the same. But I gave one to a friend who loves Beauty and the Beast for her birthday and she laughed at it and I was like yeah it's like a joke present alongside her actual like present and she loved it so much so I like these and I like doing activity books so yay. Next up we have um this was a book that was in the Disney movie collection special Disney storybook series. It's the only one that I got because there weren't many left but I got Cinderella because I like Cinderella and she has her classic look and I always I like looking for the classic Disney stuff as well because I like that era, era, era of stuff. And lastly, we move on to my favourite part of the collection personally, aside from the bags and the purses and the functional stuff, the DVDs. And I have a lot, so I'm going to go through them as quickly as possible. Treasure Planet in the Disney Collection Edition, Disney's Coco in the BW Exclusive Cover Edition. I unbox this on my channel and I'll link a video to it, but this is the exclusive cover. The regular cover has Miguel and Hector on it, which I also want to get, but I love this cover. Mulan double pack, which includes Mulan and Mulan 2, which I think was a good sequel. Mulan in the BW exclusive cover edition, which I also like. Beauty and the Beast 1991 in the two disc DVD edition. Beauty and the Beast 1991 in the exclusive BW collection edition. Hunchback of Notre Dame in the Disney Collection Edition. I really want to get the BW exclusive one of this as well. This is one of my favourite movies. I love it so much. I'm not happy that there's not a lot of merch for it, but it's one of my favourite movies because I just I love it so much. And I need to rewatch it because it's it's really good and I really do like this cover because my bay is on it. Big Hero 6 in the regular edition. Zootopia in the regular edition. Atlantis The Lost Empire in the BW exclusive Disney cover edition. Robin Hood in the Disney collection edition. Most Wanted edition as well. I like this movie a lot. It's really fun and it's just, it's really fun and actiony and simple. Aladdin in the Walt Disney classic classics edition. Love this as well as well. I this is one of my favorite movies as well. Princess and the Frog in no, in the normal edition. Brave in the normal edition. The Lion King in the normal edition and I love this movie as well. Tangled in the normal edition. Hercules in the BW exclusive Disney cover collection edition. And Frozen in the normal edition. And last but certainly certainly not least we have one of my favorite items in my Disney collection which is this drawing of Belle that you can get at Disney Parks. They have a lot of these for sale, but I chose Belle because she is my favorite character. And look how pretty it is. My dad got me this for my birthday, so I was excited. And like, look how pretty she is and how gorgeous and how cute. And like, I like the sketch. I don't know, I want to frame it, but I don't know. Yep, but I keep it in the office because it inspires me and I like it so much. So, thank you for watching this video. Um, I'm happy to show, I love showing off my Disney collection. I'm glad that I could share it with you guys. So, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.